<coughs> Hello guys, it's Shockwave King here. And I start the video, yes. Uh farewell Sean Porter. Now, I'm not gonna act like I'm the biggest boxing expert in the world, but I do know that Sean Porter is a good fighter. And uh after having a strange sequence of dreams and nightmares last night, I don't know why. I wasn't even thinking about the fight. I wake up Terrence Crawford won. In which I was expecting it. Well, no, actually, I can't say I expected it. I wanted him to win. So I was quite excited. But uh, to see that he actually got knocked out, I, I thought he was going to get knocked out by the sixth round just by the potential pace of the fight. But, uh, why is it a farewell? Well, you haven't heard the news. It's about 3 in the morning on my end, East Coast time, United States. Sean Porter has announced his retirement from the sport at the age of 34. 2020, November 20th. Well, technically it's the 21st now. And uh, I say it's a sad day in boxing. It's a sad day that I'm gonna have another one of our great fighters uh, retire. I said the best thing is he does have his health. His he has his health, has his wealth, and uh, some might be wondering how did the fight end in the 10th round. Sean Porter was dropped twice and as he was getting back up his father threw in the towel now some people may say I don't see why his father threw in the towel I don't know why this and that all I gotta say is there's nobody who loves Sean Porter more than his own daddy there's nobody and I believe that like Sean was getting hit with some clean hits we all know how Sean's fights and uh, I don't think I, I don't I don't think his father need to see two more rounds of, of Sean Porter getting beat up by Terrence Crawford to know that he wasn't going to win the fight on points or by knockout. So I think he had made the uh, best choice in my opinion. Maybe that just might be me saying that, but I'm I'm glad that uh. Sean didn't have to take any more punishment. Can you see some of the hits Sean gets hit with? I didn't oh, get a chance to see the top five fight. Uh, I, I couldn't make the pay-per-view for $70. That's, that's a tragedy for me. But, uh... You can see some of the clean, crisp shots Sean's getting hit with left and right. And top rank or Showtime Sports. But... He was getting hit with some clean, crisp shots. And, uh, in my opinion, I could be wrong about this. I think he made the uh, right choice. I really do. Because there's nobody more harsh, more critical, more focused, more excited about Sean Porter than his father. And it's the way it's always been. Always. You can look at the tape, you can look at this and that. There's the, the, the number one fan has always been for the longest time. Kenny. So, I'm glad to see Sean retiring. I'm glad to see that he can continue his podcasting, his commentating career. And like he said, if you go up to the previous press conference, you were here. Oh, uh, I, my, my father's like, oh, take these other fights, take these other fights. And Sean was like, no, I, I don't want to take any, any other fights. I just want Crawford. In the first match interview, he even said himself that after Spence he only had like one more good round in him or one more good fight that he wanted to do and that was Crawford and that was it so somebody said oh it was harsh what his daddy said that but the condition and things like that like Sean said they pretty much had an unspoken agreement if Kennedy didn't like what he's saying he was gonna pull him out of there and that's what he did you can say that Sean could pick Spence as you want you can make that argument and the day, I say his, his, his father made the right decision. I personally believe it. I gotta catch the four fight highlights and things like that, but uh, you can see some of those clean, Chris shots get, Porter was getting hit with, and that was. I don't think his father needed to see two more rounds of that to know that he wasn't gonna beat Carfit that night. His father said the conditioning is Sean, not really following up and things like that. If that was what was going on behind the scenes, then we can't really judge. 
Because anybody know Kenny, he's always been like that with Sean. He always been the harshest critic. Because the sad reality is, as harsh and as ruthless his father is against Sean, his opponents would show no mercy for him. At all. At least he l cares enough for his own son to prepare, properly prepare his child for the re relentlessness of the world and the sport itself. So, you can say it shouldn't have been stopped with things like that, but I think his father knows what he's doing. I really do. Because no one loves Sean more than Kenny does. No one's a bigger fan than Kenny. So, the whole homage to Marvelous Hackler, the whole war stamped on their back, and Sean walking in with the rope, the Marvelous one that they were not planning on going home early tonight. So, if Kenny didn't li like what he see, he didn't like what he see. But, one of the main reasons I want to make this video is, with the retirement and after a great fight like this, it reminds me of the good old classic video I made with Freddy Gonzalez where he retired. He disbanded his uh, team and walked away. The Sean Porter retirement fell out like that. Sad in a happy way, strange enough. I can't really explain it. Great fighter. Fight everybody else in the water week. Everybody else with a major name in the watch we per se. So he's been in there with the best. He has had wars with the best. He, he he's not one of those fighters to lay down. And uh overall, Sean is just a good guy. Just overall. And he gave it his one percent effort. And he was planning on retiring at thirty. But uh he had a few more fights, spins and things like that showed up and uh it pushed it out some. It pushed it out. But, uh. Yeah, I just have to say uh, farewell to good old Sean. I might hop in on his podcast every once in a while, see what him and the team was doing. But, uh. Overall, it does have strong feelings of, uh. The retirement of Freddy Gonzalez and how. He said he did not want to be a journeyman. He didn't want to be a journeyman. He didn't want to be just somebody who stay around in the sport longer than he's supposed to be in the sport just because. And uh, I can fully respect him and Kenny's decision with that. I fully can. So. If I had any closing statements. Sean, you from the greatest of your era. I'll always be remembered for taking on the stiffest, toughest opposition, no matter what. And uh, you have a nice legacy to look back on. It's been MSWK, and uh, peace. Have a nice life in retirement, Sean.